Mortal Kombat X has officially been announced for a 2015 release, with a new trailer showing off a battle between the iconic Scorpion and Sub-Zero. The trailer looks absolutely incredible. A number of key features were shown off, including the return of personal weapons, as well as environmental interactions that allow you to rip off branches from trees and beat your opponents with them, possibly the run feature from Mortal Kombat 3, the video also shows off the X-Ray attacks introduced in the 2011 reboot of the franchise, which gruesomely depict body parts being broken and bruised. The official blurb reads, Fueled by next-gen technology, Mortal Kombat X combines unparalleled cinematic presentation with dynamic gameplay to create an unprecedented Mortal Kombat experience. Given the fact that the game will be cross-generational, it seems likely that the trailer isn't made from gameplay footage. But so far, both WB and Nether Realms have remained mum on exactly what it shows off. The game will apparently be shown at E3 this week, so hopefully we will be able to tell you more very soon. The studio also claims that MKX launches players into a persistent online contest where every fight matters in a global battle for supremacy. For the first time, Mortal Kombat X gives players the ability to choose from multiple variations of each character impacting both strategy and fighting style. Players step into an original story showcasing some of the game's most prolific characters including Sub-Zero and Scorpion, while introducing new challengers that represent the forces of good and evil and tie the tale together. So now we're on to Mortal Kombat X... 10, X10, whatever we want. Mortal Kombat 10, but it's really Mortal Kombat 2, the rehash. Yeah. Yep. And I've got one problem with it. And only one. Other than that, it looks freaking awesome. Oh, what's your problem? Sub Zero looks dumpy. <laughs> Sub Zero's got his hoodie on. <laughs> he looks dumpy. Your problem is different from mine. My problem? What were we seeing? Sub Zero and Scorpion? No. What was it? Was is it, that CGI? Is it staged? Is it actual in-game? If it's in-game, where are the life bars? It looked like a little bit of in-game with the CG. You see what I'm getting yeah. at? And we, if it is in-game, then they somehow removed the life bars. And if there's no life bar in the game, is it like playing the newer age games where the screen just starts to go red and you feel, and then you know you're about to die or something? And if it's something like that, how complicated is that for two players? That would be aggravating! Bars? But it is just a teaser, so it's not going to be finalized. We're not going to see actual I, I full realize gameplay. That. But <laughs> what I'm saying is, like when they when they did the remake of uh, of Street Fighter Two, and they were showing those commercials, the best around. Remember that it had the life bars. It was an in-game demo showing the fights not of an actual tournament game. that went all the way through until the end. And then when they got to the end, they were like, next. So and so versus Bison, and then they purposely never released that video. They released the game, so you could finish it. Now this one is playing the exact same game once again, copying Street Fighter. Those that don't know the reason Mortal Kombat was made, part of it was a nod, tip of the hat to Street Fighter. Even the finish him is taken directly from Street Fighter. He said, "My favorite part of Street Fighter was when you would hit the guy a bunch of times, and he'd get the." <laughs> Where he couldn't hit you back and you get that free hit, and I wanted to do more with that. Well, now these guys are copying almost the exact same commercial style. They showed a fight between two guys, and at the end they said, who's next? Same thing when they remade Street Fighter 2. They showed a fight, and at the, at the end they were like, who's next? And then the next commercial was the next two guys fighting in a tournament bracket. And now this seems to do the same thing, but... There's no life bars, which leads me to wonder if this is CGI. It doesn't look like something that could easily be controlled because if you were playing two players and I went to do my ice freeze and it was a regular everyday attack that I just do and the screen zoomed in on me so I couldn't see me, I'm Scorpion, and the screen's like, look at that! And I'm like, I want to look at how to jump the damn move! <laughs> like, <laughs> Can't be done. Not well, so far what I like about it is I loved when he when he when he jumped the ice and then he grabbed the tree branch and turned it to ice. It's like, now you take that. Club. That part was neat, but it doesn't surprise me because of injustice. You're right, right. I seen that coming. I knew that everything that injustice has done is gonna transfer into this new Mortal Kombat. It's going to. We've seen the X-ray hits. 
that's coming over from this new reboot, basically. Yeah. And then the the fight the fight itself on the teaser trailer starts off running. So the run is back in from the Mortal Kombat three years back trilogy. on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. yeah, it was like a dash bar. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I also noticed so, something else that I don't know if anybody else caught. Let's see. Let's see if you did. Remember Deadly Alliance? The weapons. There were three fighting styles. A weapon and two kung fus. Yeah. In the middle of the fight, he switches his fighting style and actually takes a sword from a sheath. In this there, one, he just picked up a sword that was in the ground, though. Okay, so that's taken from Deception. Now... I don't know if you know... Because there were weapons in Deception where you could get a hold of them and use them like bats or whatever. I do. And you could interact with the environment. There were environment kills and things like that. I did notice something when the two were fighting that I'm wondering if they're going to put in the actual game. And it's like when you're actually fighting, they were, they were like... It's like fluid countering. Not like countering like... You know what I'm getting at? Like, it seemed like more martial arts with... Uh, a lot more uh, countering, more uh, uh, man. It remind me uh, the fluidness of DOA. Okay, but that's where my question comes. Was it CGI? I've watched mm -hmm. I've watched some of the CGI from some of the other games, and it looks like crazy, awesome, fluent fighting. And then it goes to me, and all of a sudden, it's different. It's not the same thing. And the graphics downgrade. Uh, how many times have we been fooled by Final Fantasy? Many times. Ugh. Look at this. Look. I can't even count anymore. Remember Final Fantasy VIII? The commercial only showed CGI. That's it. And they, they gunned it like DVD quality graphics. One of the greatest games you'll ever play. An epic you'll never forget. You'll need two things. You know, it said you'll need three things. Free time, a controller and a PlayStation, and a comfortable couch. And then no. I got it, and I was like, the start of it, I was like, oh my god! And then all of a sudden it jumped to the next scene, and I was like, what, 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 what? And I was playing Final Fantasy, and I should have seen it coming. I don't ever, I don't, I don't remember that at all, sadly. You don't remember that commercial? No. Wow. It was yeah, on I, all the time. Yeah, I remember the commercial, but I was still like... Final what? 19... Uh, 99 is when it came out, so I would have to remember. Plus, not all of us can remember back that far. Right. right. Wow. Dude, I still remember, like, watching Toonami, like, late at night when they would, you know, still be playing old-ass You remember the Smash the Brothers commercial. Yeah. The you Smash and me, Brothers commercial. And me and you. Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah. They're all, you know, happy walking down, and then all of a sudden, you know, Donkey Kong grabs up a hammer and smashes Mario in the, the face. The reason why I remember yeah. that is because I've seen it. The reason why I remember I remember Toonami stuff is because I, rem I, I watched it. They used to it. play the commercial on Toonami and all. Yeah. Like I, what do you think I was doing? I wasn't watching MTV all the time. I was I was being like, man, I need to watch Toonami. I need to play Final Fantasy VI and things I, like that. Like, I'll tell you something, dude. I watched TV and stuff, but I'd never seen that commercial. Wow. You mean back when MTV actually had music videos? They're, yeah. Uh, they're, they're no, because this was still in the uh, early stages of them phasing it out and turning it into, oh. Hey, here's this wacky show. Yeah, it's there was kind a of about music. Yep. They were getting to that point. Yep. But. We're now the only way to see music videos is if you have, you know, the upper channels where it's like, What's that? You want MTV3 where we actually play videos? I guess. That's, I don't know why you want to watch that. That's my biggest worry is what are we looking at? Advertising is all about advertising is all about catching, catching the viewer's yeah. attention. If anybody remembers Sega does what Nintendo don't. Yep. Remember back to the commercial. Pay Blast real close attention. Processing. Yeah, but but not not just blast processing was an idea, but yeah. look at the commercial. How did it trick you? One of the things it showed was Sonic and it showed a bunch of other games, all of them 2D. Every single one 2D, except for Road Rage, and it only showed it for three seconds. Yep. And it shows this car pulling away from you. And the whole time, everything's going fast. And then they show a game 
that is an absolute masterpiece that is one of the greatest games you've ever played in your entire life, and they made it look like ass. They played terrible music, like boop, 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 kids toy, bump, dump, bump, gay game. And what were you seeing on the back of the white car? What game was it? It was Super Mario Kart. Yep. But nobody remembers that because they remember Sega does what Nintendo don't. This is a gimmick that has been used for years. We have 32 bits. You show 16 yeah. more than Nintendo. You show what you want people bits. to see. You don't have many problems, like unplayable games. And the fact yeah. that I see no life bars and no indication that the characters are actually being controlled makes me feel like this is a movie. Yep. Well, this is just a teaser trailer, though. It's, they didn't say it's an actual gameplay. Right. Yep. But, Which we may see that But that's the reason. But that's the reason I'm not willing to make a judgment. I can't be like, this looks awesome, because... You're Final right. Fantasy, it The Spirits look Within, awesome. looked awesome. And it was a terrible, terrible movie that should have just been called The Spirits Within. Yep. But if you look at that commercial, it looked amazing. Yep. It blew your mind with what those computers did. One of the upsides to that movie, though, is James Woods was the villain. And he's yeah. always a good villain. I... Yeah, I'll give you that. I don't know. There, there's one time where he makes a great hero, and that was in... Uh, uh, John Carpenter's Vampires, but uh, that's beside the point. Let's uh, get back to Mortal Kombat. Yeah, X Combat 10. <laughs> Two. Mortal Kombat 2 rehash. Yeah. Combat with the K. No. But we'll see what we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll, see what, we'll see what we'll see what I think it's Nether Realms decides to show oh, I'm us. Sorry, yeah, they're not Midway anymore. I, that's yeah. that's fine with me. I think Nether Realms sounds better than Midway. Well, yeah. Nether Realms also kind of matches the whole, you know, thing. Actually, it's both. Another realms and WB still, yeah. The W, of course, yes, yes. Oh, well, it'll God. probably still end up being good because Mortal Kombat Nine was really good. So was Injustice, and so was Injustice. But then again, there has also been rumors. Or my, just stating this, rumors of Injustice Two. I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, would not surprise. Yeah, also, we'll see, I just want to see what they. The upside is DC and Marvel were smart about one big thing. Infinite Universe. Oh, well, it's a parallel world again. Have fun. But that'll I get think, old eventually. I think if there's an Injustice 2, it won't be that. Because they gave you a clue that that Superman was not actually confined. Yeah, he was, he was in that cell with the red sunlight, but you saw his eyes light up. It's been a while since I played through Injustice. <clears throat> I think it'll be the reverse. I think he'll break out. And I think he'll be broken. I think he'll be broken out by people that help his cause. That maybe, maybe it'll be like five years later, and the world is already kind of going back to what it was. And people are like, you know, this wasn't happening with Superman. And some people will break him out, but they realize they can't take, they can't take the world yet. They need to make sure they tie up loose ends, and maybe they'll come to our universe. And make sure Batman doesn't show up again. I think it'll be like the other way around. I think this time, I'm instead of us going to them, they'll come to us. And it'll be a fighting game of that difference. All right. And then with this Mortal Kombat X-10 Reboot 2, it is confirmed, you know, Sub-Zero, Scorpion. I mean, do you think they would, you know, would they just bring in the basic characters like Liu Kang and... Or, or are they trying to take in consideration about after the reboot? Because if that was the case, Sub Zero should still be a cyborg. After that's true. No, he's completely right. But yeah. but if it's just you know, and just they also sequel. they also showed Scorpion kill Sub Zero at the end, and that's very reminiscent of the first tournament because in the first tournament, the storyline is that Sub-Zero did lose to Scorpion, and his yeah. brother took the mantle after that. So who yeah. we're seeing, is he that the original Sub-Zero? Or some other type of Sub-Zero. Yeah, is it is a completely different idea. Yeah, but the Lin Kuei is is no longer people in the... Because uh, in the, in, when the reboot happened and they retold the story, you're right, Sub-Zero is a robot, and so is Smoke, and so... And before so they were robots, a robot is 
Scorpion because he's an undead demon. He wasn't hell. a Lin Kuei. Oh, the no, reason the reason the robots happened is, is because, because of the Lin Kuei. The Lin Kuei That's why an Sector and Cyrax, they were yeah. human, now they're cyborgs. But then again, will this be a sequel to the reboot? I don't That's know. the question. We will, like I said, I'm hoping E3. they I don't tell see us why everything. They wouldn't have it as a sequel. Well, he's right though. They've already screwed up the the idea of a yeah. that by showing Sub Zero alive, a person, or at least a Sub Zero. He's not. And there's no there's no human Lin Kuei. So unless Sub Zero a is a completely Lin-Kuei. different yeah, I was about idea, to say, unless they say that his brother was off doing other, his things. his brother is the cyborg, or maybe his brother's no, 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 brother. <laughs> Through. We'll figure it out. Yeah. E3 will tell us a lot more stuff. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully they just don't show that trailer and be like... <laughs> and hey, by the, the way, you know that trailer we showed you like a couple weeks ago? Guess what? Here, Here it is, is again. again. But show. on a bigger screen. They'll show the next trailer. And it'll be, and the they'll exact. be like... And then it'll, it'll be, be like, Luke Kang bicycle kicking the shit out of someone. And then they'll be like, well, that, that, that's Mortal Kombat. And they'll leave the stage and everyone's like... Release date? Any any window for release well, date? Well, they did say 2015. Yes, so. yes, but like there's 12 months in 2015, just like every other year. <laughs> so give me a timeline. What quarter? First, second, Shane, or fourth? Shane, remember, remember when you were waiting for Son of Batman, and your release date was sometime near the end of the year. Son of Batman is out now. I know, but remember? Yes. <laughs> 